Well, you guys remember the video I made about her. I hate to say I told you so, but I told y'all. I told y'all what was going down. I called it, but man, I, I know she not winning no popularity contest. Stay tuned. Give a piss. How you gonna explain this? Get what you think, cause this is my channel. Forget about your feelings, cause the truth is hard to handle. Popcorn, popcorn, pop, tart, fart. Leave a racist comment and you will get blocked. Coach Shelton Harrison, there never be no comparison. You're live on the show, sit back and have a listen. And that's just the way that is. Way that is. Way that all right, all right. LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the show. Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Well, you know, I, I told you this was going down. I told you, you know, it was going to be going down. And y'all wondering, like, man, Coach got a lot of space. Yep, it's going to serve the purpose of my video. And that's just the way that is. Yeah, Amanda Rivas, you know, Brazilian. She was going to, you know, she was set to make her UFC debut. I was pretty excited about this Brazilian. Uh, definitely got a lot of skill set, man. Got a lot of skill set, a lot of talent. You know, good fighter. But, you know, got popped. And they're not playing. USADA not playing with any of these fighters. They just not. And they're taking these these doping cases, they're taking them seriously. See, there's going to be no more slaps on the wrist, you know, for these guys. It, it's just not going to happen. Ain't no more slaps on the wrist. No more, you know, people, you know, trying to explain that it was a doctor. And look, USADA ain't trying to have it. They, they cutting all that mess out. And she got popped. You know, now. You know, with her, with me, it's her first pop. So, okay. You know, I'm one of those people. Look, you know, you made a mistake. You can do it again. But, you know, <clears throat> I know we have a self-righteous crowd of uh, fans in the UFC or just period. Who, oh, another Brazilian, I told y'all. Well, you know, well, let, let's think about it. Now, for the purpose of this video, let's just put people on the screen. Okay? Amanda Rivas pop, but what about this one? What about Panay? Or this one, Lesnar. Or this one, okay, Josh Barnett. Or, or this one right here, Chael Sonnen. Or that one right there, John Jones. Or this one right here. Who the next one? Who the next one? All right. What about Ken Shamrock? Whoop. What about Victor Belfort? Whoop. What about Anderson Silva? And I throw one more for good measure. What about Donald Cowboy Cerrone? Okay. The reason why I'm putting that out there, y'all, and the reason why I'm doing that is because... You know, people just want to make it seem like that, you know, Brazilians and Chris Cyborg are the only ones that got popped. And I'm putting it up there for that reason. Now, you know, it's kind of hard, though, Amanda Rivas. And this is this is to Amanda Rivas. It's really hard where this is a pro-Brazilian fighter channel, okay? A pro-Brazilian female MMA channel. And I'm sitting here and I'm riding for you. You know, I'm going to be one of the only people online that's going to ride for you, that's going to stand up. And, you know, you go out here and you get popped. Okay? And I ain't saying that people can't make a mistake, but, you know, see, people have this, this negative stereotype of, of Brazilians as if Brazilians are the only people who get busted, you know, for, for taking steroids. You know? That's it. And then you got that self-righteous crowd that'll say, oh, well, you know, they, you know, we need to follow the rules. But, you know, the rules only apply to the Brazilian. You know, that crowd. Because they, they're, they're only going to comment about the Brazilians, okay? They, they ain't going to say about nobody else, okay? But what I'm telling y'all is, you know, it's it's kind of hard. And what I'm telling Rivas is hard. It's hard for me because, what, what can I say? Girl, you, you pop and you go, you out for two years. You out for two years because, you know, you wanted to get an edge on competition. And whatever you put into the media, you can say what you want, you know? Like Jessica Panay tried to explain it and, well, I got a doctor's excuse and all this stuff and... No, but, you know, USADA didn't, didn't exonerate Jessica Panay, so, <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I, I got to go, you know, I got to go hard. USADA didn't exonerate Amanda Rivas. Got to go hard. It's just how it is. People can't be sitting here riding with you, and then you go in here, and then you start popping. You know, I think some fighters just, they don't think. They just don't think. And then the little excuse, you know, a lot of them use, well, you know, I don't know, something was in my food. You stupid. How you don't know what you eat? How do you don't know what you eating and putting in your, you you dumb? And for a lot of for these people that pop, and you know, when they uh, get in trouble, they do something. I don't have any, I don't have any any. What's that word I'm looking for? You know, I don't feel sorry for these people, man. Um, I don't feel sorry for the ones that try to deny. You know, say well, you know, something in my food. No, you know darn well what nothing in your food. You know you popped. Okay, you got popped. That's what happened. 
and all of these guys at some point you know they tried to say it was something in their food or if some doctor told them it was okay stop stop you 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 i mean you got pop and amanda Rivas, you know she ain't no different you know but you know i wonder how they gonna try to do this because you know what people do they try to lump the brazilians all together and people they still trying to say amanda nunez on something I, and that you know i just kind of look i'm like boy these people are, are foolish okay amanda don't even look like she own anything you know she don't look like it now some of these people need to get their money back because they spent all this money on steroids and still got beat up still got beat up i mean what the heck well i guess steroids can't really replace skill it just can't do it can only give you strength can only give you strength and that's it and uh yeah yeah amanda Reeves, this is disappointing this is very disappointing because you know in a sport where you know the brazilian you know just the brazilian period it's just <laughs> you you fight the ongoing war okay you fight the ongoing war with these extreme idiotic crazy uh fanboys and see if you get offended by when i said that then that means you're a fanboy okay if you're offended by what i said that means you're a fanboy i mean you know sometimes two people you gotta quit being so darn sensitive because when i make a statement you know sometimes that don't mean i'm talking to you in general and you know some some people just you take it personal like why are you taking this personal it's my opinion i'm speaking my opinion y'all if y'all want somebody to be unbiased they got like a lot of channels where the person they just completely call it how they call it right down the middle I, i'm not doing that i don't care to do that okay i don't care to do that no coach you can be a mega channel but i don't care guys i'm calling this and i'm keeping this thing real how i see it okay that's just it how i see it is how i see it so yeah congrats amanda Rivas. you did a great job now you got two years to really think about what you've done hmm but i wonder though and the coach wonders how many of these guys right here they love man their love shoot two of the guys from the same camp popping these guys are love man people don't even bring it back up but you know for these brazilian women hmm, they bring that up every chance they get heck even for the brazilian men they bring that chance stuff up every chance they get but it is what it is you know you pop girl you shouldn't have did it why don't you try you know going to the gym and working hard why don't you try that amanda why don't you try doing that i mean don't you think that makes sense hey i got an idea if you want to be stronger why don't you just go to the weight room have you tried that yet wow why don't you go do extra sets up oh, we don't want to do that that's too hard that's too much like doing hard work huh. this is your boy coach sheldon harrison i'm done what are you guys waiting on subscribe to the best women's mma platform on youtube